Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and per your request, here it is. I'm going to show you how to make these shaker paper clips and using items that you probably already have at home. Now, there's many ways of doing this, everyone does it a different way, but I'm going to show you the way I make them and I'm going to simplify it for you. So are you guys ready? Let's get started. So now I'm gonna tell you what you need for your shaker clips. We're gonna need punches. And as you can see, I have three different punches. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna use this one in the flower and the heart. Make sure that your punch can create a window. And I really like this one because it can create a larger heart with a window like this and a smaller version like this also with a window. So with just one punch, I can make two shaker clips in different sizes. Next, we're gonna need cardstock paper and you can use any color you'd like. I chose this one and this would be for the center of our shaker. And for the front and back, you can choose a beautiful paper, any type that you like. Um, I chose to use this glittered one and this teal for this tutorial. I might change my mind, I don't know. But we're gonna need some paper. We're also going to need some clear cellophane and these are from my stickers so don't throw these away you guys these are excellent for this project and if you don't have these you can find it at michael's or john ann's we're also going to need some glue and i'm going to use the scotch glue stick yep i'm going to use some glue stick believe it or not i also have this scotch clear glue and this is just to seal the paper clip with the shaker itself and i'll talk about that later as we go we're going to need some gold paper clips, and these I got at Staples, but I know Office Depot also carries them, and I believe there is a pack of 50 for $3.99. We're going to need some E6000 glue. I love this thing. I always use that. And we're going to need some embellishments, glitter. I have some gold. I have some white. And there's possibilities, you guys. You can use beads and some sequins. You guys now let's get into the fun part let's start creating so i'm going to take a shaker clip from here and i'm going to show you we're going to begin with the middle portion of the shaker and this is what holds the actual sequins or glitter or beads now depending on what you're going to use inside the shaker is how thick you're going to make this right here for example if you're going to use some beads like this you know how they're a little thick well you're going to make this a bit thicker if you're going to use some glitter and some uh, sequins that are, you know, very thin. Do I have some here? Yes, some of these. Then you don't have to make them so thick. So today I'm going to use some sequins and some glitter. So I'm not going to make it so thick for this first uh, clip. Now, how we do that? Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to take our punch. I'm going to open it here. And using a cardstock, and again, this can be white, preferably white. And again, you can choose any color you'd like. And we're going to make six punches of this. I'm going to make a lot of noise, you guys, so I apologize. See, and as you can see, I have this one and I have this one. So I can make two, a larger and a smaller one. So we're going to make six of these, and then we're going to layer them. We layer them by gluing one on top of the other with our glue stick. So I'm going to go ahead and punch this out, and then I'll come back and show you guys. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, I've already cut my six hearts, and now I'm going to take my glue stick, and I'm going to glue one on top of the other and just creating layers. And once it dries, you guys, it becomes very sturdy. Um, so I really like the glue stick. You can use any type of glue. You can use this type if you'd like, um, E6000, but I like this one because it dries really fast. It can get a bit messy, but it's okay. So all I'm doing is I'm just rubbing it here. I'm gonna grab another heart and I'm gonna place it on top. And then I'm going to take both of them, making sure they're aligned with each other. Like I said, it can get, your hands will get a little sticky, but that's not a problem. Okay, so we have that layer there. 
So now we're going to add another one. As you can see, on this side I have three layers of hearts, and on this side I have another three layers. At this point, I want to add my gold paper clip by gluing it right in the middle. Now how I do that is I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to uh, put a thin layer around this heart here. I then grab my A6000 glue, and this is what will glue my paper clip onto the heart. I'm going to take my paper clip. Place it right in the middle. I'm going to add a little more E6000 glue on top of that paper clip. And then finally, add the rest of the hearts. Now, you might wonder that if there's going to be a gap down here, and yes, there will. So once this is fully dry, I will show you how to cover that gap. So we're going to let it dry and we'll, we'll be back. Okay, you guys. So are we on the same page so far? Okay, good. So next, as that one is drying right there, I'm going to make another one. And this one is in this circle, doily, whatever you want to call this. And if you notice, there is four layers on this side and four layers of this side, which would make it a layer, total of eight layers, basically. So we're gonna do the same thing, and the reason why I'm making this one thicker is because on this one, I'm gonna be using some beads. So same process, I'm gonna take one, and then using my glue stick, just going to add some all over it, and take another one, like so, and I'm gonna continue doing that with the rest of these layers. I'm gonna show you how I add the paper clip to my shaker. So I'm gonna use some glue stick first. I'm gonna take some E6000 glue and I'm just gonna dab a little dot here. I'm gonna place my paper clip right in the center another dot of E6000 glue on top of the actual paper clip. And then finally, the rest of the layers. Make sure they are lined up. And there you have it. We're gonna let them dry and then we'll be back. Now that our clips have been fully dry, as you can see on the bottom, there is a gap in between the clip and the layers itself, so we need to seal that. We want to prevent the glitter or the sequins from falling out. And in order to do that, I'm going to use this Scotch clear glue, and I got this at Walmart for $3.99. And, or you can use a glue gun, but please, if you're going to use a glue gun, make sure you use a low temp glue gun. It is very crucial. I do not want you guys to hurt yourself or burn yourself. So if you want something very quick that dries quick, you can use your glue gun. If not, if you have patience, you can use a clear glue. Now there is something called a uh, liquid accents, I believe, and I wish I had that. It's kind of like a Mod Podge and it dries clear and it's really hard. Um, I wish I had that, I couldn't find it, but we work with what we have, right? I'm gonna use my Scotch clear glue and I'm just gonna Place a fair amount right in here. And right in the middle here. And on this side as well. We are going to let that dry. And we're going to do the same thing to this one. Once it's fully dry, I will come back with you guys. All right, you guys. And now for the fun part. We're going to start decorating our shaker clips. Now we're going to put this one aside for now. And we're going to keep the heart. Now, for our heart, I really want to, I don't know, I'm feeling like placing a background here. So using this same uh, punch. And um, I used this first one here, which creates a basic heart. 
And this is what I'm going to use as the background. So this will go behind it. So I'm going to take my glue stick again and I'm just going to rub it around the heart. And then I'll grab the background. And it goes behind it. Make sure it's well aligned. And I think it's looking very now cute. Now is the now. time to add your glitter or your sequins or whatever you want to add in here into the pocket. And I'm thinking I have these stickers. And I want to place the A for Abel Lee. And it's so cute and sparkly. So let's see if it, hopefully it fits. Yep, I think that works. What do you guys think? Now to give it more, more pizzazz, we're going to add some more glitter to it. Now, where is my glue glitter? Here it is. I'm going to take some glitter and gold and just add a few more, more sparkles to it. I think that's enough. I don't want to overdo it either, so. Okay, so I'm going to seal this. Now we need to cover it, and we're going to take our cellophane uh, paper which is right here and we want to make we want to use another heart as a template so what I do is I go ahead and I use my scissors and I go ahead and I cut around it I use this as a template so I cut all around it it's a little hard to do it while I'm filming but you guys get the point so you're going to cut all around the heart. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. And here you have it. So I'm going to take my glue stick again or this glue, whichever you'd like. And I'm just going to go around it again. Like so. And then we're going to add our cellophane paper. Make sure it's sticking well. Okay. And then finally, now we want to finish it off. So I have, I decided to use gold. So I went ahead and I used my punch again on gold paper. And then one more time with our glue stick, I'm going to add another layer of glue over this one. This will finish it off. And this will go on top of that. And there you have it. Now, as far as the back goes, it looks very plain and white. So I did go ahead and cut another one in gold just to give it a finished look. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to glue this behind so when you turn it around, it looks... Uh, very cohesive. Now notice how the, uh, the the middle part is white. I'm going to take my gold marker like this and I'm going to go around it again just to right, finish guys, it off. I just wanted to show you very quickly. Um, I love this marker. It's called the Deco Color Premium and I got this at Michaels and you literally have to shake it but it gives it a really really nice color and this will finish it off beautifully. Now for this one here, I've already added the cellophane on the back and then the front cover. So I'm going to turn that around and for this one I'm going to use beads. And these are in black and white. So I'm just going to pour some in here. Now I notice that some of these are a bit thicker. And I just want some that fit perfectly. Just going to remove a few of these here. I 
Again, if you wanted to use some thicker beads, you would have to give it more layers. It's up to you. Okay, so I think that's fine. Now I have my other piece of cellophane here. So once again, we're going to use our glue stick. Same technique, go around it. Take our cellophane, place it right in the middle. And then finally, add our front piece. And there you have it, you guys. Aren't they cute? I think they turned out absolutely beautiful. What do you guys think? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> now, I'm not done there yet. I'm going to show you how to make these shaker clips. And these are done with a stamp and my fuse tool. So they are very easy to make. So let's get on with the tutorial. Alright you guys, for the next shaker clips, we're going to need a stamp and I use this one with a mason jar and it's a smaller version here. We're going to need of course the ink, some scissors, I used a pocket letter sleeve and I didn't use the cellophane um, that we used for the other shakers because I tried it with the fuse and it actually burned through. So I recommend you guys using the pocket letter sleeves and some paper and of course our fuse tool right there. So first thing we wanna do is stamp our paper. Let's see. So I have it ready. It's right here, it's a clear stamp. So there we go. There you have it. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this out. So I'll be back, you guys. Okay, here we are. I already cut this out. And I cut a square from the pocket sleeve, pocket letter sleeve. And I'm going to insert that into the sleeve. Now the fuse tool takes about 15 minutes to warm up. So I'm just waiting for it. Should be ready by now. Um, on the meantime, I should get my glitter ready. I think I'm going to add some glitter. I'm going to add some sequins. Uh, let's go with some pink. I don't think, I don't know if I have teal. Um, I might add some teal, I'm not sure. Okay, so our fuse tool should be ready. And basically we're just going to trace around the mason jar with our fuse. So let's try it out. Okay. Okay, so I went ahead and I fused all around it, so I'm just going to cut out the excess and I left the opening right here because that's where we're going to put our sequins and our glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and I'll come right, right on back. back and I already cut it around and I left this gap so that we can insert our glitter and our sequins in through here. So I have some sequins here and I'm thinking we should go with this blue. I kind of like this aqua blue. So we're gonna throw some in here. Okay. And we're gonna add some glitter maybe. 
Yeah, I'm gonna add some gold glitter. Have our glitter and our sequins. Let me put this aside. And now we can finish it off by completing the seal. Again, we're going to take our fuse and we're going to go around it one more time to close it off. You guys, I really recommend this tool, it's really fun to use. You can make awesome shakers with this. I haven't had the chance to play with it yet um, very well, but so far I absolutely love it. There you go, you have a mason jar shaker. And now we need to add our paper clip and the way I'm gonna attach this is I'm gonna flip it over I'm going to place this behind it and I'm going to take a foam sticker and I have some cute hearts. So I'm going to go with this light pink and I'm just going to make sure it's fully centered and this will keep it in place. What do you guys think? I think it's so cute. Ask and you shall receive. It was so much fun making this tutorial. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at abolee25. You can also follow me on Twitter at abolee255. Don't forget that you and I have an appointment in my next video.